Hello everybody. Here we have a chest protector and a back protector that has served me well in the past few weeks riding. They're Dionese, they're L1, L2, very serious armor that slide right into your jacket. However, today we're going to talk about what I replaced these with. This is the Dionese Smart Jacket, and this is an airbag vest that will essentially deploy if it detects a crash. Now it's a very aesthetically slim piece, but it has a ton of electronics in it and a pocket in the back where the airbag is. So I inspected here for a little bit. It's a $700 jacket, so it's very high quality. The interior is very nice. It's breathable here, so it can be used in the summer. It's an extra layer, so you know you're gonna be a little bit hotter than you would otherwise, but super lightweight. Obviously there's no rigid pieces in it because it's an airbag. And here's where it actually turns on and off with that little snap. And then if you see on the top left, that is actually where it will visually show you if it's active and there's a motor that will trigger. So here's just the back moving up. The airbag in the back is actually in there. And here I am actually wearing it. Now this is over my Dionese Street Fighter jacket which is a very tight leather jacket. And so I have a medium in the smart jacket and it fits beautifully right over it. Now, not everybody likes the aesthetic, but when I put it on, I was quite happy with how it looked and how I could move in it. And here I am with my Revit jacket. And so you see it's underneath in this jacket. So you can basically hide it, still have the aesthetic of your normal jacket, but the extra protectant. Now with this jacket, I have enough space for the airbag to deploy, which is why I can wear it underneath. So here's me getting on the bike, and this will show what it looks like to actually be in the riding position. Very comfortable, you don't notice the airbag vest. You can clearly see it in this visual, uh, but it's form-fitting, it works really well. I can move a mobile, so very happy with it, with how it fits and how I feel with it on. Here's with the other jacket, the Revit jacket with it underneath. You can't even tell I'm wearing it, right? So I have all the mobility I need without any really uh, appearance change and discomfort. So very happy there. And lastly, here is the true test, which is how does the backpack work with it? Does that cause discomfort? Is there enough room? And I don't know if you can tell based on the visual, but I'm quite comfortable as if I wasn't really wearing the vest at all. So no real qualms, still form-fitting backpack. So we have our manual. A lot of stuff to read about just how the sensors work before you actually start riding with it. Uh, they do a good job of walking you through everything. And then you have a three-step process essentially to get up and going. So to start, you have to download an app and then you have to use a USB charger to charge the jacket. So here I'm just running through the Dionese website. Super easy to plug in, download the software. It basically just has a registration page, which you'll see in a second. Here's the registration page, super basic. Tells me the system is disconnected. So let's quickly show what it looks like to connect it. So here in the back, there's actually the USB charger. There's a little zipper that I unzipped and then you pluck that little strap and there you go, USB-C. And so with the computer, I basically just had to plug it directly in, as you see here, to my USB adapter into my Mac. And when you do that, it essentially just has you register to give your name and details to Dionese so the, track, so the jacket is tracked. Completed my registration, it took me about a minute, no big deal. The only other things you can really do on the app that you're downloading is to do any system updates. There is firmware over the air. And then they have something called shipping mode where you can put the jacket into a mode where it won't accidentally activate if for some reason the little snap at the top uh, triggers and then it feels movement of like a plane or something and then gets pierced. So the big thing with that is that it saves you from an accident that could cost $300 to replace the airbag uh, portion of the vest. So the vest is charging here. It takes about three to four hours for a full charge and you get 26 hours of battery out of that charge. The red blinking will turn green when it's, once it's done and then let's go for a test ride with it. 
So the two ways it knows if you're actively on a motorcycle is the vibrations of the bike, which in this case only works if you're on a regular motorcycle, not an electric one. And then the second one is the speed. So if you're below 10 kilometers per hour, it will not be active. And so you can see here there's a little LED. I think it should be active right now. I don't think I could see it. Yeah, it's green. So you know it's active. And then it will give me feedback. It'll vibrate to let me know if it's deactivating or activating. So I can feel it vibrating now since I'm stopped but it can feel the vibration still. So in case of a rear end or an accident, there's kind of a gray area where it may or may not trigger. But if I high slide or low slide or do any sort of crash while moving, fall off the bike, it will trigger in microseconds very quickly. And it has the chest protectors that'll inflate and then it has a full back area that'll inflate. However, the inflation is supposed to be seven times as protective for the back and then it has something called L2 protection on the front which is actually better than my regular chest protector. This is also actually more comfortable. So speaking of comfort, you know, it's not a rigid plate, it's just a vest. So with it over, I mean, it's super comfortable. It's, it's not lightweight, but it's not heavy. Like I could tell I'm wearing an extra piece, especially as it's a warm day, but it does allow ventilation. And while riding, I really don't notice it, at least for these short durations that I'm doing while recording. So overall, super happy with the purchase. It's definitely the right fit for me. This is a medium on me and I'm 6'1", 170 pounds. The jacket I'm wearing is a Street Fighter Dionese jacket, which is also uh, rather small. I think it's a size 52, maybe 50. Aesthetically, I'm also happy enough with it. It's got the pretty much black theme that I already wear. It's got the little red Dionese logo, no big deal there. I think the LED is actually pretty cool, pretty futuristic. And then form fitting, it fits, fits me really well. And the back protector, it's like raised, but not incredibly so. So definitely something that I feel I can wear every time I go out and ride, which is really the goal is, is this something that I feel I could pick up and put on every single ride? Because it's that one time when you're lazy or you don't feel like it, that you inevitably have a crash and wish you were wearing it. That's what all the crash videos seem to say is, oh, I usually wear my gear, I usually do this, but that one day I didn't. So this vest is gonna be my full-time vest. I'm gonna wear it over it like I have it now. So far, I'd recommend it. It's a $700 price tag, so you need to know that it's gonna be worth it. And for me, no regrets already. And I bet if I knock on wood ever get in an accident, I'll definitely not regret it, so treat it like an insurance policy. So with that, I'll end it here at this park. I hope some of you decide to pick up the jacket. So I believe safety is paramount when riding a motorcycle.